Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand in the position that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. For this heavyweight fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. Our right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC will not a lot because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Oh, great block there. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Every time he throws that leg kick, he lands with so much force. Medov gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense. Oh, big left hand there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Just misses there with the left hand. Shot lands for both guys. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Akhmedov. Nice job landing another left punch. Oh, look at that leg kick. Joy gets caught by that straight punch there. 
moving to his left now. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, nice kick. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Kokhanov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, continuing to pick with the target here. That punch is good. So a nice shot landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He's a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage, and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big power shot there. Another punch to the head. Yeah, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be hit the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Just missed with the left there. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. And now the jab gets through. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under it, landing right to the body. He's got to do something different right now, or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Look at him dig that. Oh, oh lands a hip toss to get him down. That can't feel good. And the fighters are inverted now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. In the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Get him out here. Big ground and pound. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Akhmedov. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, bud. Sit down. Catch your breath. Slow it down. Get some water. Listen. Everything you're putting out there is working. I want you to stay. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. All right, next round is underway. Outstanding counter striking in the previous round and really methodical with all of his movement there on the feet. It almost feels like he's baiting him. It's like he's saying, come on, come on. Try to enter and see what happens to you. It feels exactly like that. And watch, if you're going to pull the side to attack, he's going to come. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, clipped him with the overhead. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Punches and punches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Right on the button. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. 
clinch position, look for a lot of different takedown attempts, a lot of level changes, really trying to empty the gas tank of the opponent. Oh, single collar tie here. Fighters separate from the clinch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Choi. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Misses with the left hook. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Leg kick now. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Well-placed kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Defense here, single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He got big dollars before it gets worse. Akhmedov's eye is closing up. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting him. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Straight to the body by Chor. And just misses with that big right hand. Single collar tie now. And he gets the takedown. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. Oh, nice. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Akhmedov. Another ground and pound strike lands. Seconds to go now. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Akhmedov's back in full mount. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Third ahead. round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. 
And now some distance as they pull apart. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh. Right, looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is, and with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming, but he got it. He does a great job of disguising this technique. He is a fantastic judo player, and he did a great job of getting to his position. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ahmed. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley's somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. He's got to be careful here. Akhmedov's right back to the full mount. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their structures. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Nice jab by Choi. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Under two minutes to go. of a setup there, misses with the left hook. Great defense on this play. He's fighting from both sides, lands the left hand. Man, I've got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now, so some work for the cut man in between rounds if we get there. Beautiful jab there by Ahmed. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice target change from attacking the body. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Great block there. The fighters separate. Oh, nice combination there by Ahmedov. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense. Because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Right.
You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Our next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a hard fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do to see a cut trying to attack it? It's like a target. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more, but I do love a little damage. Let's see what he does now. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up. How about the ankle pick there? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working, go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. Boy, you got to keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his goal. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He's got that single collar tie. as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time, and you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lem. His misses are out That's nice. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big shot for Godfrey. Oh, nice. He's got the single collar tie. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night tonight. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Another ground and pound strike lands. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, and both of them, both inflicting damage on each other, and both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across the Oh, wow, oh! Oh, somehow, some way he got out! These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Choice pass attempt, denied. 
So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Great high output fight thus far. Both fighters incurring damage. Seems like whoever can dig deeper is probably gonna win. Yeah, it's gonna come down to who's tough. You know, when you have an evenly matched fight like this, a war, you don't know who's gonna get their hand raised. Both of these men have fought beautifully tonight and both have had their moments. Reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more. Of I mean, even us, we're grimacing like, ah, how many more can this guy take? Can I continue to take these body shots? It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or if he's going to lose this fight tonight, we'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stop. There is no more strategy. There is a Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take the Oh, oh. Yeah. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. some things out defensively or this fight's gonna happen. He's hit, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got... Oh. We'll see if he tries to change levels here. Trips his opponent with the ankle pick. An ankle pick takedown. We're so used to seeing singles, doubles, high crunch. When an ankle pick is hit, you applaud the guy doing the technique. Well, that body kick 
kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And his eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only going to get worse as this fight continues. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Massive shot from the top. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime.